either your parents or you can claim it, all their taxes, and get it all back. Yeah, because, um... Or 95% of it. It's weird because it says, um, my tuition, and then it says my scholarship. But my scholarship is more than my tuition. Yeah. Alright, so, hey everyone. Okay, so I decided that this would be the perfect time to do a new V-blog. Because we're all in here. We're all trapped. No one's going anywhere. For a YouTube page. And so... We went through a lot. We, um, this night did not go as planned at all. But at the end of the day, when you are so close to someone, or people in your dorm or in your school at all, it needs, you need to work through it. And I know it's tough and it's hard sometimes, and you don't want to get through anything. You just don't want to talk to the person. You don't want to face them. But you have to. So, I will introduce you formally to almost everyone because Emily and Brittany aren't here. And Kiara and Caitlin and Destiny and Dominique and Danny and everyone else in this hall is not here at this moment. But I will show you... Um, we have established that we are called the Bear Family. Girl. <laughs> so and I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you the mama. And then I'll show you all the little kids. And then you can Papa see. Um, right you can see one of them over Skype. I mean, Ulu. Not in person. Well, you'll see them actually in a couple of days in person. But that'd be different. Okay. <laughs> So, me? this <laughs> is Megan. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to say anything, Megan? Um, communication is key, <laughs> especially with your roommates. Even though sometimes you get frustrated, um, talking out is the best way to go. Yes. Yes. This is... Do you want to say anything? her name. Uh, I'm Paige, <laughs> and... Yeah, I'm just here talking to my girlfriend. And who's that? This is my girlfriend, Sarah. They can't see her. Hey, Jesus. I just almost dropped you, babe. Oh. They can see her. She's waving. Okay. She will be up here Friday. So, yeah. Any couple questions, direct them towards Paige her. And Paige and Sarah. <laughs> or, if you want a heterosexual couple... You, you can, can direct it. Me. No, you can direct. You can direct it towards Kelly or Megan. You can still talk. To me. Kelly is the best. I have dated Kelly men. is the best for long distance situations. Uh huh. Long distance is Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> me, if you just want to be single. Shit in general, go to Lauren. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or if you need a laugh with Pablo the llama, it's fine. Go to Lauren. Fuck yes. <laughs> Pablo is the boss. Okay. And that is Lauren, who you just saw so much of, actually. Y'all met me already. <laughs> she's not country, so I don't know why she sounded country. <laughs> yeah. Um. But what was I gonna say? Yeah. That's. I mean, if you have any questions, you guys know you can always ask us. Um. You can ask me anything, pretty much. I'll try my best to answer it, and if I can't answer, it, I know these guys can. So, ask yeah. anything, even awkward questions. <laughs> yes, like, awkward what things. is the best sex position? I don't really know. What is the best sex position, Megan? Uh, Jeez. <laughs> uh, For a heterosexual um, couple, um, uh, oh, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For a heterosexual uh, couple. For a heterosexual couple, there's all sorts of different ones. I look at the Kama Sutra. De de defer to the uh, sex position Bible. Uh, of this, there are <laughs> over three hundred and eighty-nine different positions. My oh my God! I forgot pelvis. My Sam. <laughs> Sam. Sam will tell you all about sex too. Um, my personal favorite would be the spooning position. Okay. Um, and by the way, this is a really awkward topic. Um, but you have to have code names for people. I feel like, especially in a dorm. Yes, like, don't. You have to. 
You have to, like, not say random, like, names because there's so many of you that are living on campus that it's like, oh, you know, Megan, like, which one? Damn. Well, <laughs> my name is Cabbage Patch. No. You're either Charlie or Joe. Oh, or Charlie or Joe. I'm a man now, I guess. <laughs> I don't have a... Um, since I, mean, I am, I um... lots of baby cubs and... And we have Mama Bear, and we have um, Paigey, Paigey Poo. Paige. I don't know. <laughs> we have Sarah Bear. Um, we have Gare Bear. Gare Bear. Also known yeah. as Papa Bear. Have, uh, also known as Papa Bear. Akel the Mama. <laughs> um, <laughs> mama. And Lauren is strange. I said Lauren the one. <laughs> Um, well, Horan Lauren. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Horan Lauren. Horan Lauren. Horan Lauren. Oh, hell no. You have She's to... a man stealer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just got a text and I got a comment and I'm guessing it's from the person downstairs who you said is asleep. <laughs> oh, shit. Apparently, it's not a sleep. Did she say go to bed? <laughs> Were you being too funny? No, I don't know. I haven't checked it yet. <laughs> you should probably check it. The other thing that you should do in college. Have sex. Party. No, I'm kidding. What? Rainbow, when you are doing anything promiscuous, put, put rainbow, rainbow trout, on trout on the door. It confuses the hell out of your or roommate, right and she doesn't want to know. Yes, and you don't want to see too many parts. Keep the fuck away. Paige. I'm sorry. We forgot to lock the door once. Uh, and you don't want to hear giggling in the middle of the night, and you don't... Oops, you're gonna- <laughs> you don't want to accidentally walk in on someone like I did several Multiple times. times. No, not you. Someone else. Heterosexual couple. Uh, I'd be. I'd, I'd bleach my eyes. I would bleach my fucking eyeballs. She's gonna see this. <laughs> um. No, she won't. <laughs> this is gonna magically go on private. It will. Um, <laughs> what else? What other what other college tips can we give people? Um, Find a friend that likes to bring home food. <laughs> Kelly. Uh, truffles. truffles. Can we call her truffles? <laughs> no. I think I think that would be a really good nickname because now not only do we need to get the supplies for it, we, we gotta make have, it like. A truffle day. Oh, oh yeah. also, I'm on once it. you find a f- kind of like what you would call a family, make a family night. Ours is Sunday night, yes. so we have family nights. Um, and everybody is required to attend. Yes. Um, even Sarah on Ubu. She, um, she Sarah's is, gonna be here Sunday. She gets. Yeah, yeah but every In other general. Sunday. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wait, what happened? Yeah, you're attending Super family dinner every Sunday. Um, February fifth, Super Bowl. February fifth, Super Bowl party. Oh, also. Super Bowl party have have ramen, ramen noodles be your best friend you. because you're gonna want to eat a lot of it and bubbles. yeah. What and else? When they the when they tell bubbles. you to get a micro fridge, oh God, it's probably a pretty good idea because the microwaves tend to break and then. Everyone will be your friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? What else other tips do we have? Um, make sure that you tell your roommate if you're going to have someone over or if you are magically going to have someone sleep in your room with on the floor because you don't want to come in. And I've heard a lot of people have this problem, so just telling you. Um, and I had never had this problem, but... Other people have had this problem. And don't let people live at your college. Even if you have friends that are, like, homeless. This is your <laughs> school. And... Fuck it, Nikolai. <laughs> and... God damn it. No one knows him! Um, I'm pretty sure people, when I post this, and I don't say... Don't post it on Facebook. <laughs> Just oh, yeah, yeah, but when I too. say, go to my YouTube, they look at this. Yeah. Oh, um, they <laughs> you just, you have to remember that it's your college and these are your new friends and stuff and you have to respect everybody. Listen. And quiet hours means quiet hours. If you, if you <laughs> like dick, that's awesome. Just don't have it all the time. And if you like vagina, just don't eat it every day. <laughs> Wait a second. That's so, like, 
You don't not know right. Oh, You're like, oh, maybe, oh, oh no, don't like, let like, me know that stuff. You don't have it all the time. And then, like, you give it a daily quota on the women. It's like, it should be, you know. Give it time, okay? Just be, respect- just, just be respectful of your roommate and those around you. Because remember, the people that live underneath you can hear you, and sometimes the people above you can hear you. And (laughs) if you have a nice little finger or a vibrator and you want to have your own little shenanigans going on, (laughs) please do it when no one's around. (laughs) Because I don't want to have to hear this shit, and I've heard it before. Not not on this floor, other places. Um, And I don't want to have to hear that shit. Lock the door. (laughs) Yeah. You can use rainbow trout for that too. I give you. You don't want to walk in on someone like fingering themselves. <laughs> oh shit. She's gonna leave. She's gonna leave. No. Oh, oh, her bright red. Oh! Oh well. Um. Now you guys With know. With that confession. <laughs> now you guys know that confession. Um. What else is there to say? Um. College is great. I lo- I just love our ramen. I love everyone here. Love you, uh, even the people I don't talk to. <laughs> I, yeah, and even the people that I see, like, once every blue moon. Like, everyone is awesome. And if you find amazing people and you have great classes, there's no reason for you to transfer. I mean, if you feel uncomfortable or it's just not the right place for you, then I guess. Or if you're financially. No. Or you're financially unstable. That's a good thing. But for all of you who are having a hard time, like I was, in all of the transferring and everything like that, go with your heart. And, you know, if you are dying, (laughs) well, that whole conversation is going up. Oh, man. Did it stop? Yeah, because it died on me. Sometimes it lasts a lot, but sometimes it hurts. She oh, was naked because she had. Um, you're on. You're, you're loading. Okay, so continue on to what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> um, Check your email all the time. Yeah, blatantly did not just have that conversation on fucking YouTube. No, we didn't. I should stab you all. <laughs> you saw it on YouTube, you know that. Right? <laughs> she says, "Girl, I knew you could find it." Really? Duh. When you are at an all-girls school, every guy that walks in should not go in thinking he's gonna get some. No. <laughs> Because this is the reason. This is the reason. <laughs> not because we're all lesbians. Because that not, is because not the reason. Lesbians. We all came here to get away from you boys. <laughs> because our careers and what we want in life is slightly more important than dating. Yes, we are interested in men. No, we don't want to screw you right away. It doesn't happen like that. You have to be logical about this. We want to get to know you. It's still the girl thing. It doesn't matter if we've been off the bandwagon for six months. You know, seriously? Yeah. And on top of that, when I hear a guy on campus, it's really awkward because you're used to girl voices and then you hear a guy and you're like, whoa, there's a guy on the floor. Holy crap. So. And then you put your pants back on. (laughs) And then you put your pants back on because you don't want to walk in the hallway naked. So, which by the way, girls are I have no problem with that, yeah. for the most part. But, those are confessions of a college life. We will probably make part two in a little bit because this is going to run out. Bye, peace. <laughs>